hello and welcome to live trade videos um, in this video we're looking at how to properly set up your mt4 when you've newly logged into your phone or your account on your phone rather um, so if you're just logging in for the first time probably on your phone or on your laptop the laptop video is already out you can check out the channel for the video on it this one is for the phone now if you're just logging in for the first time this is most likely what you're going to see you're going to see from the bottom left this is an, an android i'll still show for an iphone on the bottom left we have the quotes then we have the charts your chart is most likely going to be looking like this if it's not looking like this it's going to be black on green you have your trade which is in the third icon from the left the fourth icon is your balance this is for news and these are um like updates from mko4 so we start again from the first one or message from mko4 from the first one bottom left you have the quotes you have the charts you have the trade this is where you can see running trades from you have history account history and um, these are the things you're most likely going to interact with all of the time you can also see them here when you click on the top left you see where you can select anyone you want to work with quotes charts trade history the four of them there bottom left next 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 now what we want to work with is first and foremost you want to work on your quotes now you have some instruments here that you do not or you cannot work with you can't trade on any of these instruments here because they are blood out this is not the account type this is not the instrument for this account type that i'm currently working with on this account type now this is a standard account however i have instruments that are probably on the basic or on the pro account so i cannot trade on them you cannot you can see i can only open the chart i want to have an instrument that i can trade on so i need to select euro usd plus in fact everything needs to be plus what do i do i click on the top right hand corner that shows this pencil sign you can see this pencil sign here once i click on it i'm clicking on it to edit to edit so i'm going to click on the dustbin icon here and i'll select all now i cannot select all of them because euro usd currently open on the chart so i'll first of all delete the ones that are available to be deleted bam now i can now add in a new set of instruments i can add in a new set of instruments for instance click on the add sign and since i already know them off of the top of my head euro usd i can just search for e u r i can search you see here i can search e u r u s d and once i tap on it here it adds in so you go back to my quotes now you see euro usd plus has been added in now watch if i click on this euro hold on let me go back if i click on this euro usd plus you see that i can place a trade i can come to the new order and place a trade unlike this particular one that i couldn't do anything in case you're having that mix up all right yes so moving forward I'll click on this one and open the chart. So now I have the Euro USD chart open and I can delete the former one. So I click on the pencil sign. Let's go over it again. This is chart, trade, history, quote. So what I did now was to open the chart, open chart here. And I came here. Now I'm on that chart. I go back to quotes to work on this. I click on the pencil sign. I click on the dustbin icon and I delete the euro USD that doesn't have a plus. Voila, it's done. Now I can add in different sets of instruments. I click on this addition sign and I can scroll through. You see these folders? These folders contain different instrument types. And so if I click on the majors STD, that's standard, I can see AUD USD. I, if I want to trade on AUD USD, I can add it in. AUD USD. If I want to trade on GBP USD, I can add it in. GBP USD. USD card or USD CHF or USD GPY, I can just tap all of them and they would reflect automatically here on my codes. I can also see other instruments, other instrument types like commodities. You see indices and COM, that's commodities STD3. In here, there's just US 100, wheat, and some other ones. Um, you can just you can select as much as you want, just make sure you know what you're doing, make sure you know the instrument want to work with there are also the precious metals you see gold silver if you trade on silver there is um 
There are some instruments here as well. Oil. There's US 30, US 2000, US 500. This is under indices and commodities SCD1. Yes, and you can add those ones in. If you come all the way here, you see DE30, indices STD. Add that in. That's DE30. Um, which other one? USDIDX. Oh, I love this instrument. One. The USDIDX, which is the dollar index. So you add it in as well, just so that you're not limited to only the instruments I've chosen here. You can still go through and select as much instruments as you want. You understand? You can select as select as much instruments as you want. For instance, gold. Let me search for gold. I think I might have. Oh, I've added it in already. That's why it's not showing here. Uh -huh, look at it. Gold. Now I have selected these instruments, and I can open the chart on them. This is the chart on AUD USD. I can open the chart on Euro USD. This is the chart on Euro USD. To edit the way this chart looks, to make it a bit more um, similar with the one that other people use, that's the green and red. I can just change it from here. All I need to do is click on the top left. When I click on the top left, I'll click on settings. When I click on top left again, you see this drop down. This one, two, three, three, three bars there. It's a drop down. I click there and I click on settings. So upon clicking on settings, I'm ready here. This is the settings now. You yes, understand? This is the settings now. Now I can now edit some things that I want to edit. For instance, I can change the um, colors. That's what I want to work on. The color scheme currently is black on white. If you were green on black, this is what my chart would look like. If you were green on black, so I'll just change this now. Hold on. Settings. Colors. Oh, I didn't say done. Green on black. Once I click on done now, and I come back to my chart, this is what my chart is going to look like. So if your chart looks like this, no problems. We're working on it now as well settings colors i want to once i click on colors i want to work with black and white black and white and once i'm on black and white there are just two things i'm going to work on here which is the bull candle for the bull candle i want it to be green it shows when the markets or the um the when the prices are going upwards so the bull candle i can make it this lime green here or this dark green however i prefer the light green green then beer candle red and done once i click on done come back to my chart this is what my chart looks like understand this is what my chart looks like all right so you're good to go now you've currently set up your chart to look similar to other people's chart there is also if you select any instrument any other instrument for instance open chart it still remains like that it still remains the same way what else quotes you have your instruments here now you can select any of them trade on them as well you can trade directly from here you can just click on the instrument you want to work with which for instance new order you place a buy or you place a sell or you can come to this trade here when you come to this trade here, you can click on this addition sign this folder like sign with an addition on it and it knows you want to place a new trade. Yes, and it knows you want to place a new trade. So you can place a trade from here as well. Select what type of trade you're trying to place. Let's go back to the chart. Now, while on your chart, there are some tools you would be able to take advantage of. For instance, this F here. This F is trying to tell you that you can add in indicators to your chart. You understand? The main chart is this one up here. This one up here. This one showing the candlesticks. While the indicator window one is down here, this that's the RSI. So you can also delete it if you want. If you don't, if you want the main chart to occupy everything, you can click on the dustbin icon and delete the indicator window one. So once you click on that delete, you see that now there's space everywhere is just made up of charts. You understand? You can also add it back in. Click on the F, click on F here. And you can see that there are different 
indicators for you to work with. Some indicators need to occupy the bottom um, bottom half of your screen. Like for instance, some oscillators such as the RSI or the um, average true range or forcing any of them here. Once I just click on it, you see it occupies the bottom half of your screen. Some people go as ahead as clicking on more, having a lot of oscillators on their chart and their chart is now looking somewhat like this hold on rsi okay it added on it hold on uh, if i add in another indicator now for instance um let's see stochastic stochastic is going to add you see it everything is adding on there there's the rsi there's the stochastic there is the um average true range And this one as well has added in there. Okay. Um, now this is the iPhone view. Um, if you're logging in for the first time on your iPhone, your chart is most likely like this. Um, you have your quotes. It is already spelled out at the bottom. Quotes, charts, trade, history, and settings. Quotes, chart, trade, history, and settings. Now if you try to open any instrument here you can't trade on it remember because it doesn't have the plus sign the addition sign telling you that this instrument is not tradable on this account what you need to do first and foremost is to add in the correct set of instruments you can click on the pencil icon here and select the ones that are currently here take them out delete them you understand select them delete them click here add in the correct anyone you can add in them all or you can add in a single one all right for instance, I can add gold now. I click on gold, I search for gold, and I click on add. And I add that in. So I have gold now. I can open the charts on gold. And oh, this is gold. Very good. Although it's still black and green. Now I can delete this last one, which is USD arrow N. Let's show, let me show you let me show you the difference now. Watch as I try to place a trade. I want to place a trade on gold. You see, I can trade on it. It allows me trade. I can click on trade and I can click on buy or I can click on sell. But when I try to place a trade on USD arrow N, you see, I can't do that. I cannot do that. So I need to take it out. Delete. Now I can add in the correct set of instruments I want to work with. I want to work with gold. I can search in here. I can just do, oh, US 100. Hold on, let me check something. All right. So I can search US.100, actually, not US 100. US. 100 so you see us these are the us indices you can find them other indices and come std1 right you can come here and add in us 100 you can go back here majors F fix you see there's no plus sign here i don't want to work with any of those but i want to work with the ones that have the plus sign adus for instance i can add it in add i need to click on the add sign you see this add sign i need to click the usd card i can add it in gbp usd add it in if i wanted to trade on um sugar for instance s-u-g-a-r or i can open each of all these this euro usd add it in i can open each of all these and search for sugar yes and look at corn add corn in like that and before you know what's happening you have your quotes correctly set up so any instrument you click on here you can trade directly from here or you can trade from your chart depending on the instrument that you have open now for gold for the chart menu i do not like i personally like i said before in the other video do not like to see my chart like this so what you need to do is come to settings here when you come to settings here bottom right you click on charts click on charts after you click on charts you can now change the way you view your charts i want to first of all select candlesticks now if i if you go back to your chart and you see that your charts are present in candlesticks all right candlestick view then the next thing you want to do is click on charts here and change the color colors so i want to select black on white and there are just two things i'll change in here the bull candle or make it red the bull candle or make it green rather lime green then the beer candle i'll make it red and save voila once you come to your chart now this is what your chart is going to look like 
this is what your chat looks like now you can scroll forward or backward some people have their chat zoomed in to the max like this you can zoom out as well you can't together to zoom out um like this the way you zoom zoom in on the photo you know the way you zoom in on the photo that's the same thing you do here so you zoom in or you zoom out and you have your chat like this the same thing applies on the android you click on f and you can change whatever or adding indicators to your chat you, know you can add in indicators to your chat for instance if you don't want to have any indicators on your chat you can delete this delete delete and done and now your chat is without indicators you can also take off these lines i have some lines currently on my chat you can take them off by clicking on this icon here that shows a circle a triangle and a square a circle a triangle and a square yes, and just tap on it and you can add in object you can add in this square here and this is what it look like you can add in a vertical line and drop it anywhere move it around adjust it stuff like that so remember if you're a newbie this is your first time um on this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and like this video if you're already an existing subscriber remember to like and share thank you very much have a wonderful trading experience